Welcome back everyone. And this is game number 7. The series of matches goes on between Paul Morphy and Lowenthal. So this time Lowenthal is playing with the white pieces and Paul Morphy has the black pieces. And this game was played in July 29. One day later, after the previous game, that game was a disaster for Lowenthal. Paul Morphy crushed Lowenthal in the previous game. So Paul Morphy is four and a half points and Lowenthal is only one and a half point. Paul Morphy is leading with three extra points. And if Paul Morphy wins once again, Paul Morphy is going to be five and a half points. He is going to lead with four extra points. And maybe Lowenthal needs to give up. So anyway, this is round seven, the seventh game between Lowenthal and Morphy. Lowenthal starts the game with playing e4, e5, knight to f3, d6, the Philidor's defense, d4, e takes on d4, queen takes on d4, bishop to e6, knight to c3, a6, bishop to e3, knight to c6, queen to d2, defending the queen, knight to f6, rook to d1, bishop to e7, bishop to e2, and both players castled, b5 by Paul Morphy, a3, knight to e5, knight to d4, c5, attacking the knight, and Lowenthal captures the bishop with the knight, f takes on e6, f4, knight to g6, bishop to f3, and Paul Morphy played rook to b8, queen to e2, queen to c7, h4, and in this position maybe Lowenthal's position is little clunky, so Lowenthal wants to open the h-file for some attacking opportunities in the future, and Paul Morphy is accepting the offer, knight takes on h4, bishop to g4, knight takes on g4, queen takes knight, attacking on e6, so Paul Morphy played queen to c8, defending on e6, g3, attacking the knight, knight to g6, rook to f2, rook to f6, rook from d to f1, doubling the rooks, b4 by Paul Morphy, attacking the knight, pawn takes pawn, c takes on b4, knight to a4, and here comes queen to c6 by Paul Morphy, the best move, attacking the knight with the queen, and also attacking the pawn, so you can't defend, both of them, b3, defending the knight, but then, Paul Morphy captures the pawn, queen takes, on e4, bishop to a7, attacking the rook, doubling the rooks, rook from b to f8, rook to e2, attacking the queen, while Paul Morphy retreats the queen, and attacking the bishop, bishop to f2, and this is the key moment of the game, while Paul Morphy played a marvelous move, unbelievable move, and maybe you are not going to believe this, but after that move, Johan Jakob Lowenthal resigned. Believe it or not, Lowenthal resigned. Can you guess that move? Paul Morphy played knight takes on f4. This is the move in the game, and Lowenthal threw in the towel. He resigned. Unbelievable. What a crushing defeat for Lowenthal. Once again, Paul Morphy made Lowenthal look like an ordinary player who has just learned how to play chess. But I'm sorry to say this. I don't want to disrespect the legendary player, but Paul Morphy crushing Lowenthal like a little baby. I had to say that. Unbelievable. And let me quickly show you the possible continuation. Why Lowenthal resigned, of course. That's the question. So if G takes on F4, this is the first move that comes to mind. Then we have Rook to G6. This is pinning the Queen, winning the Queen and the game. 
Queen takes on g6, h takes on g6. And you know what? This is unbelievable. The most resisting move in this position is actually g takes on f4 and losing the queen. Wow. So let me show you the other moves. Let's say defending the rook, then queen to g2, checkmate. Game over. So let's say bishop to e3, giving up the rook, and defending the checkmate threat. Then knight takes on e2, check. Queen takes on e2. Rook takes on f1, check. If king to h2, rook to h1. This is checkmate. Game over again. So queen takes rook is more precise. Rook takes queen. King takes on f1, queen to e4, and so on. You get the picture. Unbelievable. Paul Morphy is crushing Lowenthal once again. Easily. Very easily. The magnificent move of Paul Morphy was knight takes on f4 at move 28, which made Lowenthal resigned on the spot. So this is the last position of the game. At move 28, Paul Morphy crushed Lowenthal once again. What a glorious day for Paul Morphy. What an epic victory. So Paul Morphy is five and the health points. Lowenthal is only one and the health point. Paul Murphy is leading with four extra points. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye everyone.